Hi, welcome to do-it-yourself breastfeeding. My name is Robin Kaplan. I'm an international board certified lactation consultant, owner of the San Diego Breastfeeding Center, and host of the Boob Group podcast. Today we're talking about supplemental nursing systems. So how to supplement a baby at the breast. This is actually a really, really cool thing to do because what it allows mom to do is actually get breast stimulation to help increase her supply if that's something that she's dealing with um, while nourishing her baby right at the breast. Um, some of the reasons why mom would use a supplemental nursing system would be if she is in fact trying to increase her milk supply. Um, if a baby is having a challenging time being effective at removing the milk, say if the baby has a tongue tie or lip tie that is impeding them from taking the milk out. Um, this could be another way that you could actually top your baby off um, to make sure that they're getting enough calories, but still offering everything at the breast. Um, or for a mom who is inducing lactation, say she adopted a baby or had a baby by surrogate and she would like to feed her baby at the breast, she can actually do this using a supplemental nursing system. So the things that go inside a supplemental nursing system, if at all possible, we would like to use expressed pumped milk uh, from mom to give to her baby. If mom does not have enough milk to provide her baby in the supplemental nursing system, then we could use either donor milk or formula. Um, there are many different supplemental nursing systems out there that are for more long-term use and those you could buy from your local hospital or online. The one that we're going to be using today is actually makeshift. And so what you'll see here is a five French feeding tube connected to a syringe. You can usually get these from your pediatrician's office, your hospital, or your local lactation consultant. They're not something that you can actually buy directly online. Um, but these are meant for more temporary use. The, long, the ones that you can buy that are commercially made are ones for longer term use. What I find can be really helpful is actually attaching this to mom first before latching the baby to make sure that the two little holes that are right here, um, both of them go inside baby's mouth because otherwise if you press the syringe and not all the holes are in the baby's mouth, it's going to squirt all over the place and whoever said that uh, don't cry over spilled milk has never pumped milk and then had it spill out of their baby's mouth. So let's get this little kiddo latched on because I think he's very hungry. So, <laughs> well actually since he's already latched, one of the other ways that we can actually use this too, is inserting it into the baby's mouth once the baby is already latched. So we've got this kiddo already on. We slip it into the top of the baby's mouth, right in the corner, and then either baby can suck it down. There you go, kiddo. Or you can actually put some gentle pressure on it and offer and kind of help him out a little bit. Another thing that can be really helpful is taping it to the breast first. What I like to do is actually tuck this into mom's bra so that way baby's hand is not getting all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, baby cakes. Oh, And taping it directly to mom so where it pokes out a little bit beyond her nipple. I know, sweetie, I'm sorry. And latching them on that way. Then once the baby's latched, mom can then take the syringe out of her bra and start to provide some gentle pressure, and I'll help you too. Providing a little gentle pressure to speed up. There we go. There we go, awesome job, kiddo. Another thing you can actually do is put this tube inside a bottle as well. Um, if your baby has a really great suction and can pull it right through that tube really quickly, um, a bottle is really nice because those syringes tend to stick a little bit um, and the negative pressure can kind of make it difficult for the baby to pull it out on their own. So that is how you supplement a baby at the breast. If you would like more information or some more videos to watch, you can check out our YouTube channel, which is DIY Breastfeeding. Or you can check out our websites, which are San Diego Breastfeeding Center, as well as New Mommy Media. Thanks so much for watching DIY Breastfeeding.